Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to my review of Hell in a Cell 2020. Let's get started now, shall we? So, the night started off with a really, really slow match, but it was the match that main evented Clash of Champions, so I guess they wanted to try something different, um, even though it felt like the same match, you know? It was it was a bad choice, I, I think, to start off Hell in a Cell. Um, it felt like they started asking each other if they were ready to quit too early. It was like, you you hit him with one move. Is he really ready to quit? Like, come on. I know it was your finisher, but it, we just started. Is he, is he ready? And they just kept doing that for a really long time. Um, seemed like they were just trying to recreate the old magic from Clash of Champions, but it didn't work. It was just, oh, it's, it's the sequel. Not as good, but it's like, they're like, hey, look. Let's just copy and paste uh, the thing we did last time on the last paper. Let's see if anyone notices. I noticed. I also noticed you guys didn't use the fucking cell that much. And I love it when people use the cell. Otherwise, what's the fucking point of hell in the cell? What a waste of a cell. They didn't, use, they didn't use it that much. It seemed like they would have been fine just having a normal I quit match on the card. And that was it without the cell. But anywho, uh, the ending of the match saved it for me. Like the ending was a little different. I liked the twist at the end where Roman fucking fake cried just to bait Jimmy Uso in. He could lock him in the guillotine. And Jay Uso's awkwardly waking up a little bit to notice that his brother, his injured brother is in the guillotine. He, he, he quits then and there. Like, I like that ending. I love that finish because I was thinking, well, how else are they going to have Jay quit? You know, like I... It's, I couldn't see him quitting, but that seemed like the right way to keep both guys looking strong. Like, he didn't really quit because Roman beat the crap out of him. He quit because Roman w was going too far. He was going after his brother, you know, his injured brother, Jimmy. And, you know, that, that saved it. It saved it. Right guy won, Roman. Uh, I hope he enjoys a very long title reign up until Mania. I'm very excited to see the rest of his reign. Jay uh, still has great potential as a singles competitor, and I hope this isn't the end for him. I hope there's, that he gets another run down the road, or at least at least the, the Usos regain their place at the top of the tag team division when, when they're both healthy, because I think this moment was supposed to bring them together closer, I think. I wish I could say the same about me and my brother. Anywho, uh, Elias versus Jeff Hardy. I don't want to talk that much about this match. It, you know, I was hoping they'd do something big since they wanted to put it onto the on the cell card so quickly after Elias returned. I was like, okay, maybe they have plans for this. But no, Jeff just hit him with a guitar just because Jeff hit Elias with a guitar just because Elias wouldn't lie down. For, on the apron for a swanton bomb. And I'm like, Jeff, at anything, Elias did you a favor by moving out of the way. I don't think, I think you were going to be more hurt than him, man. So you should have just let that slide. He didn't. Jeff's looking horrible in this. Elias, just move on. Um, I guess I kind of want Jeff to win definitively just so that he can move on and be ready for The Fiend. I wanted The Feud with The Fiend. But uh, this is right where he's continuing. Yippee. Said no one, I hope. Miz versus Otis for the Money in the Bank contract. Now, this match is fine. This match was perfectly fine. It didn't overstay its welcome, and it wasn't too short, and the action wasn't boring at all. It was fine, you know? You know? It wasn't... It's not like Otis threw out a five-star classic there, but he did well. Miz did well as a good heel, and, you know, um... The ending shocked me. I was hoping that Otis would just steamroll through the Miz, and that would be it. You know, I mean, he already lost his girlfriend and he lost his best friend to Raw. But then he lost his best friend again when a Tucky fucking turned on him with the briefcase. Like, no, Vince, why are you trying to murder the tag team division? Like, I know you already, I know they were already split up because of the, the draft. But still, like, why? What was the need? What was the need to have Tucker turn heel if they can't even feud after? And he's just stuck on Raw to be that asshole who's going to job to Ricochet every week now. Or or get Claymore and job to Drew McIntyre every week. I don't see a future for Tucky, you know? Just so... Ugh, poor Otis. This is, not a, this, is, this is not how I expected the year to go for Otis. I feel so bad for him. 
I thought it was going to go so differently, you know? He was going to enjoy a nice relationship with Manny. She's going to become the manager of Heavy Machinery. They're going to go for the tag team titles. They're going to feud with Roman and the, and the Bloodline, the Tribal Chief, all that. But no, no. I don't know what happens to Otis now. I don't know what happens. It's not like I wanted him to win the world title. I didn't, okay? I just... It just sucks, okay? I still feel bad for him, even though I, I wanted to see him lose the cash in and get speared by Roman. It's just <sighs> good for the Miz, I guess, but I have no booking plans for that. Like I don't I feel like this is a really weird time to start booking a plan for the Miz to be the world champion and to have a reign. It's, I can't think of, of a reign for him or like what, what would happen next. <sighs> Damn it. Let's move on. Sasha Banks versus Bailey, match of the night. Case closed. There's, there's no debate about it. I think it's the match tonight. If anyone begs to differ, you can go fuck yourselves, okay? I don't, I don't care. That's how that's how passionate I feel about this match. And it was also my favorite women's Hell in a Cell match since women started fighting inside Hell in a Cell. It was, it was really good. And it just go to show how great Sasha is. But it also, you, you start to realize that ba this was Bailey's best match of her entire year-long title reign. And it was her last match as champion. But it also goes to show how, how great their chemistry is together. How great they are together. They were so great. Oh my god. I love this match. It was such a change of pace from the first Hell in a Cell on the night. I loved it. Oh, one of my favorite matches of the year. Maybe even one of my favorite matches of the past five years? Three years? It was really good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Definitely my favorite match since AJ versus Daniel. That was beautiful. And this was also beautiful. <sighs> Sasha finally won inside Hell in a Cell. I'm so happy for her. And now they can say she's the boss of Hell in a Cell. Before, it was sad because your brother was just thinking the whole time, like, okay, but she lost both times. Definitively. Both times. She looked like a punk. But then this time, she finally beat Bailey, and I'm like, yes, okay. Okay. You go, Sasha. It was about time she won that SmackDown Women's title with the whole blue hair and everything. You know, Bailey couldn't keep that title any longer. She, she ran out of opponents, and it's not like they gave her any new opponents. It's great for Sasha. It's great for SmackDown. It's great for the women's division. I loved it. Um, I don't think this will be the last time we see Sasha and Bailey fight. I feel like they have to have more matches. Like, you know, we waited this long for the rivalry. I think there's going to be another chapter, but it's fine if they take a break for now. If they take a break until Mania, until WrestleMania. It's great. Everyone had doubts. And their worries. I had my doubts and worries that they couldn't recreate their magic for NXT. And I think they damn near did it. I think they just, or at least they got close enough to make us go, ah, okay. Looks like Vince can't ruin everything. But I digress. Lashley versus Slapjack. Mm. I hate filler, random filler matches on pay-per-views that just happen for the sake of filling up the card. I will say this. I'm very happy that her that Hurt Business and Retribution both made it onto the card at all. So there's that. I'll, let's focus on the positives. I, I'm glad that they got onto the card at all. I just wish it was announced prior or like there was some sort of No More Contenders match or some sort of angle where Ollie challenged him on Raw. But nope, it was like a kickoff show. And I don't watch the kickoff show, so I didn't notice until like right when it happened. And I was hoping Ollie would go and fight Lashley and that th this would... Be some sort of momentum boost for retribution. Like things would turn around. Like Ali would like challenge Lashley. They'd find some way to beat the hurt business and Ali would be US champion and they'd have some momentum. He'd be recovered from the admittedly awesome burial they suffered at the hands of the fiend on Raw. I'm sorry, it was awesome. I know he buried the shit out of them, but like if there was anyone to choose to get away with burying uh up young up and comers like Retribution, or at once time promising angle like Retribution, it'd be The Fiend. If anyone else did that, I'd be pissed. But no, it was The Fiend, and I, was, I loved it. I loved it. I love anything that makes Bray Wyatt look good and like a badass. But he's not on his card. I have to. So yeah, Lashley won. It's fine. Nothing really eventful happened. Just another mini brawl between Business and Retribution, which really could have been saved for Raw. But... I guess they had to put something in the breaks between Hell in a Cell, the last two Hell in a Cell matches. So. Let's move on to the main event. 
Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton. Mm. I liked it better overall than Reigns and Uso. I did. The ending of Reigns and Uso was better, but I liked this match, like the whole thing, better than Reigns and Uso. Um, but it was still hard to get excited for it. Uh, because Sasha and Bailey just stole the show. They 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 stole the night. Like that was it. After that, I was I was done. I was ready to um to move on, go to sleep. Because I didn't think at first off, I didn't think Randy was actually gonna win. I, it's not that I didn't want him to win, but I was very worried. I was like, I was like thinking to myself, like oh, I guess it would make sense to have Drew retain and have Drew to travel chief for Survivor Series. I, I guess. They, I guess they do want to have him hold the title to Mania. He's their guy now. They want to be the next John Cena. And it's it also they've been lagging on this Randy Orton win for so long. Like it should have happened at SummerSlam, but they took such a long time. And then he lost to Keith Lee, which is great for Keith, but oh my God, Randy, what the hell? And then he got jumped at Clash. So I was like, I, I, I don't. I think they're just flipping off Randy right now. I think they're just saying, you know what? Good job being built up as a heel challenger for Drew. <sighs> Thank goodness he won. Um, yeah, Randy Orton won. It was cool. It was nice. 14 times. My brother was excited. Me, I'm just like, good for him. It's like the hype ran out for me. I want it to happen at SummerSlam. They made me wait too long, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I did like the spot where they climbed the cell and they... they both fell off. It was cool. It's always interesting to see someone fall off the cell or something extreme happen with the cell and they fall through it, something like that. At least they used it. Reigns versus Uso. At least they used the cell, okay? They weren't... It wasn't like my one of my favorite matches, but at least they used it. And right after Drew fell, I remember being a lot more interested than I was throughout the, the start of the match. So I was like, that's when I really leaned into my chair after he fell in and his mouth was bloody upon the wreckage. I was like, oh, what's going to happen now? And, you know, uh, Randy won. Good. Um, not really sure what this means going forward. I'm not sure if he's going to hold it to Mania, if he's going to lose it to Miz. Please don't make him lose it to Miz. Um, I guess he could feud with Keith at TLC. I'm not really sure what happens in Survivor Series, but I think he should feud with Keith at least. Um, feud with Matt Riddle. They gotta change that intro. Can't be Drew no more. It's Randy's time. Can't be Drew. Can't win it. Um, but yeah, the age of we are now in the new age of Orton, 2020 edition. Hopefully, it is eventful, and hopefully, it is not the last. <laughs>